Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you Aurion radio controlled weather station available in Lidl. Uh, inside of the package you are getting an outside sensor and a main controller or LED uh, display uh, with a dozen on, or, of function. Also what you are getting together with this um, uh, weather station are batteries which uh, is a nice surprise that they are some uh, well-known producer it's not a no-name producer cheap Chinese so uh, good for that but uh, on the end of the day I think it would be better to use a rechargeable batteries because it, it makes sense okay without further ado I will install batteries it will be first launch of this device Second, I will put uh, the sensor uh, outside. Actually, this is a room temperature, as you may see, 23 and half. And it's uh, very precise, actually, uh, because this is the temperature that I have in my apartment. Mm, okay, so in total, you have to use uh, five batteries triple A ah, please be quiet okay so um, now I'm a little bit confused okay this is a inside temperature and this is a but first thing both devices I assuming are showing the temperature that is around so sensor is pointing 23.1 here is 22.7 okay and now they are in line you see but this is a different than the sensor so actually we can already see that there is a at least one uh, half of uh, Celsius um, difference between accuracy I would say rather it, this is the, the, the proper temp temperature I mean above 23 instead of below but still uh, yeah nice surprise I have to admit now it's one degree you see 23.7 and 22.7 okay so now that we know that it's not so accurate actually I will put the sensor outside because I have a window nearby so uh, in in a few seconds you will be able to uh, you will be able to to see what is the change of the temperature and it should be something like um, around zero may, maybe uh, minus wait a minute Okay, let's let's wait. What's what's gonna happen? Outside is cold and should be visible in a minute. This is actually also the test how how frequently it's um, it's changing the temperature. Okay, in the meantime, some basic features. Operating temperature is from minus 20 up to 50 um, uh, degrees Celsius. Temperature display is plus minus um, 1 uh, Celsius. Range is a maximum 100 meters. Uh, I'm worried. I'm, I'm wondering how it's uh, with uh, walls and so on because uh, it's I think a radio communication with Bluetooth. We know that it's a uh, let's say 10 meters with radio i don't know uh, frequency of the connection is uh, for 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 those who are in uh, know what that is, does uh, does mean uh, 435 uh, 33 megahertz uh, transmission power 
uh, 0.024 watts blah 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 and um, for the outdoor sensor there is a, a protection offered by the um, or water resistant IPEX 4 level but uh, what is for me a little bit uh, surprising that its uh, temperature is not changing uh, I mean the outside temperature is not changing it should be uh, around zero so actually by now it should refresh um, okay what we have also uh, what are the other features of this um, uh, water, weather station uh, weather forecasting uh, it's sunshiny because it's it's not refreshing so uh, for the time being I'm not believing in that but as you may see I'm waiting a couple of minutes to, to, to be refreshed and still nothing have changed but in theory uh, water forecast uh, uh, indoor and outdoor uh, um, temperature air pressure and humidity uh, barometric pressure graphs and uh, values for the past 2012 uh, sorry hours uh, sunrise sunset and uh, and uh, monarise uh, moon sensor time as well as a uh, moon phase radio controlled clock as we saw uh, it's available in I mean the display it's available in eight languages adjustment time zones and uh, that's all but what is the most important for me because uh, it's not connecting uh, I need to wait I mean a couple of minutes by now it's I think something like five maybe four minutes uh, you can easily check uh, on the video when I have uh, put it outside and still the outside temperature didn't change at all okay um, snooze light okay uh, because um, I have my artificial light so you cannot see uh, precisely how it's working but you may see the change so during the night you are able to 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 check oh actually since it has been um, turned on it, it has been uh, like six minutes so easily four minutes uh, since it's outside and still outside temperature didn't change so yeah um, alarm mode I wonder if uh, it's uh, okay alarm on off but sun moon let me put it in this way uh, if uh, the outside sensor will start to um, broadcast the proper temperature I will in some ways start to think that all the other parameters like uh, humidity uh, the, the general the weather forecast it's it's it makes sense but for the time being I'm disappointed mm, I will hold the mm, uh, I will hold the record for a while and wait a few additional minutes just to check if uh, if it will uh, update its temperature just I will I will make a fast forward movie for you and please bear in mind that this is a uh, operation time I mean because I didn't set up the clock so actually it's like a stopper so it's a time counter since it has uh, batteries in so eight minutes ago I have plugged it in and something like um, six minutes or minimum five minutes ago I have put the sensor outside where is uh, around zero degrees so the differences is significant so it has to it should drop down uh, very very fast it's not a 
differences between, I mean, one or two or three degrees, which could be uh, unde undetectable in the uh, short period of time. Outside, I mean, it's, it's zero and it should be visible by now, in my opinion. So, please, if you want, um, uh, move video a li little bit further. I will make it since now a uh, little bit faster and uh, I think I will wait till I mean 15 minutes if this not will change for me it will be unreliable in terms of um, temperature adjustment uh, I mean accuracy so since now I'm waiting six minutes Hello again, and as you may see, it has changed right, right now. But um, I was also looking at the sensor from the outside, and when here it was already 10 degrees, here it was uh, still 20, um, 23. So actually, I mean the lag time of the refreshing uh, it's uh, mm, like a five minutes but now it's it's going almost online and of, uh, of course uh, I, c I cannot expect that it will drop down this temperature from 23 uh, up to zero in in no time uh, so let's say that it was mm, downgrading slowly it's 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 totally fine because the the, the, the difference was uh, quite high so the the um, the sensor uh, itself has uh, his own temperature because he was uh, in the room temperature for a while but the refreshing it's not uh, I mean it's not uh, as fast as uh, I, I could expect but still I would say fair enough and uh, as for the and now actually you see it's changing quite decent or I mean in, in no time actually so I'm wondering because uh, uh, what I have did actually I've put the sensor outside of my um, uh, window but it fell down to the uh, to the ground and maybe it was lacking of connection. You see, it was a 10 degrees and in no time it was uh, already uh, refreshing. So, in my opinion, actually, this distance of 100 meters is a, uh, is a marketing only blah blah on the open area, maybe. But when it's, uh, it's when the sensor is uh, hidden, uh, hidden um, uh, by wall or something like that. It's it's lacking of connection. So actually, the, the the connectivity of this device is very very poor. This is my uh, this is my opinion. If you have this weather station nearby, and this is uh, directly uh, outside, but uh, only. Uh, protected. I mean, the, the 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 obstacle is only a uh, glass. Maybe it will work properly. But if you want to put the sensor something somewhere further, uh, it will not work properly. It will not uh, refresh. And this is my this is my judgment about this um, uh, weather station. So because of that. Uh, I mean, in my opinion, it's not worth to, to, to invest something like 20 euros for, for that because what you need and what you are buying for is this um, accuracy and connectivity and, you are, and this device is not delivering. Uh, you don't need the sensor uh, when you are inside and uh, you need the sensor to, 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 to work outside and to connect with the weather station and it's not doing that. So. Uh, my judgment about this device is that this device is not delivering what they have, what is promising. 
and that's all save your uh, 20 around 20 20 euros and uh, either buy a better one either <laughs> use a I don't know uh, internet weather weather forecasting instead of such um, uh, weather station that's my opinion thank you for watching uh, and see you next time bye